name is John Evans. I'm the area president of the South Wales area of the Association of Speakers Clubs. Our area was asked to give its proposals for renewing the online speech competition, and this is an online video which aims to make progress towards doing just that. I'd like to begin by asking the following question. Why should the ASC be interested in online videos in the first place? Well, I believe that there are a number of reasons why it should, and I would like to run through five of them. First, as we know, online videos are an increasingly common means, means of communication, particularly among younger people. More and more younger people um, tend to use them as part of what we call social media. They actually like making videos of themselves and showing them to other people. It's really quite common. Second, being able to present well to a camera is increasingly important in all sorts of jobs. Even in my work, our monthly report now goes out on a video, not on paper. And of course, if you want to sell things, you often have to make videos. Third, if you go to any professional speech coach, he will video you. He or she will always video you. It's always part of any professional training in public speaking. So therefore, it should be important to an organization which tries to help people improve their public speaking. Fourthly, I'd like to look at the ASC and the way it operates. Now we all know that the ASC, although a national organization, can't hope to bring a huge proportion of its membership all together in one room at the same time. It's no longer possible. The numbers of the annual conferences have not been increasing, though we hope for a good turnout in Cardiff this year. And this is, of course, not peculiar to the, to the ASC. All organizations which involve pe bringing people together in one place at the same time have been having problems. Look at churches, look at political parties, look at trade unions, even look at pubs. All of these organizations are finding it hard. And you could argue that online videos may be the obvious way for a national organization like the ASC to communicate with its members across the country. Videos are more personal than letters. And, of course, very importantly from our point of view, they involve speaking. And fifth and finally, online videos could be a way, a natural way for us to promote our clubs. Videos of club members giving speeches could be put onto the club websites. And this would allow people to see what's going on before they take the plunge of actually coming along to a meeting and walking into the room for the first time and so they can help to advertise the ASC. So all that is really the background. Those I see as the, the reasons, some of the reasons why the ASC should be interested in online videos. And what type of online videos are we actually talking about? Well, I just like to make a simple point. All the instances I've mentioned so far typically involve no more than talking to a static camera, which is exactly what I'm doing now. Special videoing expertise is not required. The art is in the speaking, not in the camera work. And from my point of view, that's actually rather handy because as far as I know, nobody in the South Wales class has any particular expertise in video, video, videography or whatever it's called at all. We just don't know anything about it. We feel much happier with a static camera. We're not into making artistic videos. And I do want to stress that making online videos with a static camera is now extremely simple. Any modern digital camera, such as the one I'm talking to right now, or even a camera phone, can record videos of perfectly adequate quality for the purpose. You can then upload them onto the web with a couple of clicks using any standard broadband connection. The content can be made public or restricted as required. I could say it is child's play, but it's much easier than that. It's middle-aged people's play. <laughs> so I hope I've persuaded you all that because of all that, because I can now come back to the main topic of this online video, which is the ASC online competition. And I really want to ask, what would the purpose of such a competition be? Well, the primary purpose of an online competition, as with all ASC competitions, is surely support the objectives and the aims of the ASC. That's what competitions are for. Evaluation competitions are to sustain the standard of evaluations in the ASC. So an online competition.
Commission should sustain the standard of the videos that the ASC makes and hopefully puts out on its website to become more personal, as I was saying earlier on. And the best videos, including competition winners, should be able to demonstrate something of the standard of speaking to which the ASC aspires. So, what about the rules then for a renewed competition? Because competitions always have to have rules. Well, I suggest that renewed rules begin by explaining very briefly how the competition fits into the overall objectives of the ASC. They would go on to explain that, in order to achieve these objectives, speeches should normally be delivered to a static camera in a club setting. There would be no penalty for a moving camera, but no special brownie points either. Basic editing would be allowed to, to permit a restart during the speech. There would be clear instructions about how to upload the videos into cyberspace, explained in detail by means of a video presentation on the ASC website. And the rules will end by explaining the criteria, which would be similar to those for the national speech competition, with a particular stress on communication skills using this particular medium. Now, I'm getting a little feedback from the audience here, as well as some little interruptions, but uh, because I'm actually, this is an actual club meeting right now, but if you're watching the video, I can't really know how you feel about it. However, you have the opportunity to add comments because this will be up on YouTube and you can even post your own video response to this video. So, I'll find out. But you know, the key thing in all this is not so much devising a set of rules and mechanisms and procedures for the competition. It's, man it's making such a competition take off. It's managing it so that it really works. And that, I think, is really the key to it. I think it will only work well if the ASC as an organisation takes videoing seriously, as I believe it should. As I believe it should. I think it should make videoing a way, an important part of the way that it communicates. So, my final question. Are we going to step forward into the brave new electronic world and do just that? And if we do, how are we going to promote the competition? That could be the subject for the next video.